Okay, so I'm gonna make this one kind of quick because I really don't want to talk about it right now. I can talk about it before I go to bed, but I just got home from work and today beat the fuck out of me. It feels like I'm not even IV anymore. Hi, Jeepsy girl. Hi, be mama. It was really difficult today. There was basically nobody in the fucking kitchen. And we all had to do everything at once. And we had five trays due today. That That's just counting the trays that me and my crew handle. Not the ones that the cooks have to do themselves. Like the tenders and shit like that. The, we had a couple of those trays too. And I'm like... Oh my god, can we just kill ourselves now? Can we all just kill ourselves at the same time? Suicide pack. Such a cute idea. Always wanted to do one, by the way. Anyway, um, I feel like today has beat the shit out of me. But, there was a couple hours where I was like, okay, the only thing holding me together was like, the memory that I... That in my wallet I put a blade, a fresh one, in case I ever needed one. And I was like, you know what, Ivy? On your lunch, you've earned this. You have earned the right to this release, to this good feeling. So, with that in mind, I was just like, would you like a roll? <laughs> For fucking hours. I cried. I cried so hard. So many times. I know I wasn't the only one that was really upset and stressed today, but... That's all I can all I can do is help my friends when when I can and fucking that's that's all I did. I'm I'm really proud of myself for having all those negative thoughts and fending them off like a lion in the wild. I'm just kidding. <laughs> like a true fucking recovering reco someone in recovery. <clears throat> I feel like I'm still broken down, to be honest. I don't want to cut myself anymore. And I'm probably not gonna. Probably not gonna. But. I don't have much blood left. And I want to. Forget the world. 